Hi, we're at Sea Future 2025 in Italy inside the naval base of La Spezia. We are now with MBDA, Mr. Andrea Comile, Technical Marketing Manager at uh, MBDA. Uh, we're going to talk well about the new anti-ship missile from uh, MBDA Italy because uh, there's an important uh, piece of news that uh, MBDA is sharing uh, during this event, uh, Andrea. Yes, Javier, and it's nice always uh, to see you and uh, welcome uh, you and uh, all uh, your viewers here in uh, La Spezia. And here we tend to announce news for our anti-ship products uh, and in particular for the Teseo Mark IIe. In the past exhibitions, uh, we announced the starting of the development for a contract for our Italian Navy and now we are very happy to announce that we have been awarded a production contract for this missile. So while the development is still going very well, our Italian Navy has awarded us a production contract for this missile, which is still um, the best in class in this category, because it features a 350 kilometer range, for example, a data link uh, that allows it to control, uh, the control all over the mission, and uh, a scalable warhead, for example, dual mission, anti-ship, and land attack. So, for this missile, which is really at the state of the art in, uh, in uh, the anti-ship products, this uh, production contract is very important. Our Navy is going to use this on all these first rank ships, so the frame frigates, the PPI, the horizontal destroyers, and in the future DDX as well. So, it's uh, the main uh, anti-ship weapon for all the Navy. And with this production content, it's finally joining all the other missiles that we are showcasing here. So, for example, the Exocet MM40 Block 3 Charlie, which has now uh, passed the 4,000 missiles in production recently. And behind that, the Marte Extended Range, our multi platform missile available for ships, coastal batteries, and helicopters and other flying platforms, that is still the most important missile in terms of medium range and medium weight. All of them now are in full production and under active and constant improvement and development. Clearly, we are very happy that Teseo has joined this family of missiles in production. MBDA is now proposing a full family, a full range of uh, anti-ship missile. Uh, you are also proposing a full range of uh, ship-to-air missiles, layered air defense for naval application. May we take a closer look? Absolutely, yes, it would be a pleasure. Let's go. We are talking about the first rank ships of the Italian Navy. So all of them, the Fram, the PPA, the Horizon destroyers, are currently defended by our missile system. So the Aster family, the Aster 15 and the Aster 30, family of missiles here displayed with the new Aster 30 Block 1 NT. These cover a wide range of threats, almost all of them, uh, in the Italian Navy, for the French Navy, for the UK Navy and several other export navies in the world, and they've been recently operationally proven in the Red Sea against a various class of targets. So they are the blasting class in this kind of missiles, and they are equipping, as we said, the first rank ships, but the Navy is looking also at other missile systems for the smaller ships. So that's why here in display we have the CAM ER that together with the VL Mika NG cover the class of targets up to 40 kilometer of intercept range. So these are missiles which are actively in service in several armed forces uh, in uh, the ground based air defense and the naval based air defense role. All of our missiles in air defense role actually share this capability. Even the smaller ones like the Mistral that we have here with the Simba RC turret. This turret is featuring the latest generation of four missiles pack per turret and uh, uses the latest uh, generation Mistral 3 missile which has an intercept range up to 8 km. Again, this system is equipping both ground-based air defense and naval-based air defense, and this is a target for naval-based air defense. And the last one to join this family is the Fulgur missile, which we see over there. It's a missile we are currently developing for the Italian Army, for the V-shore role. So it is designed to cope with 
all the threat set that an army may face. And thanks to the fact that it's a man portable, we see it very useful also on a ship, both in the man portable uh, configuration as it is now, and potentially in the future also on a turret like we did for Simba Del Sea. It's something we have at the core of our capabilities, this possibility to integrate on several platforms. Andrea, thank you very much. Thank you to you, it's always a pleasure.